Hey, hi everyone. Most welcome to this vlog. Um, before me, I have someone here. <laughs> no, guys, by the way, we really didn't prepare for this chat, but we're going to talk about content creation and, you know, some of the things that come with it. Now, before you is a lady who I think inspires me a lot, really. really? She's been in the game longer than I've been. Uh, yeah, so... Let me let me take the honors to invite her to say something and first of all to also introduce herself with her channel so that you guys can be able to follow her up okay hey guys um my name is teddy and my channel name is brani teddy and i'm excited to meet you you gaman isn't this the first time you are meeting? yeah it's a very very first yeah. time and um, unless you have any questions for me <laughs> <laughs> no seriously um guys go check out teddy's channel she really puts up very very good stuff um i must say i'm very very honored to you know to meet you guys because this is the first time really i'm hanging out uh with youtubers mm -hmm. despite the fact that i've been part of the group you yeah. know where we have whatsapp group and chat and keep chatting but this is the first time but first things first uh what's your channel about so my channel has lots of different like I would do a lot of stuff. I recently I'm doing travel, tours and travel, and I do interior decors, I do wedding decoration, books, DIYs. At some point I was venturing into entertainment news and updates. So my channel is all about everything. Motherhood, parenthood, it's a one-stop center for everything. Yeah, and uh, definitely also, if you guys are looking out for our channel, mm -hmm. make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Our community is still, you know, very young, I yeah, could say. But yeah, but I know we've really got people that are very creative. We've got people that are inspired. Like today, we're meeting quite more people for the yeah. first time. And it's, it's very exciting because... Sometimes you sit back home and you create content, then you think about like, what do people like? You know, what are people saying? But when you get to a point where you start to meet fellow creators and you're like, okay, so you want to talk about parenthood. What do you say about parenthood? What do you talk about love? You know, we've got people that are doing business. I know a channel that has a bit of real estate. The two ladies, I forget the name. Lifeline. Exactly. <laughs> Those are the Lifeline. best that. Yeah, so when you look at that, it, it shows that we have quite a lot of stuff that we can do as Ugandans. But something, Teddy, that I wanted you to also discuss. You know, when we create this content, do you think we have a community that consumes it? Because, for example, on my channel, I, I have more non Ugandans consuming my content and I don't know whether it's about the internet not being affordable or you know something that comes with the cost of being online I don't know about your channel but where does your audience come from like the uh, biggest my audience? audience is not mostly Ugandans but that's not an issue to worry about it's it's just motivation for us to keep creating you know, people here are just getting used to YouTube. They they don't like using their data a lot. Okay, maybe data is expensive. Yes, I agree with that. But people are coming up. People are coming up. Everywhere you go, at least someone knows a friend who is a YouTuber. Mm. At least someone knows a friend or an OG OB who is a YouTuber. So we are picking up. It's, it's not yeah, a bad beginning. Um, but I also think it's... Um, okay, away from the cost of the data, mm -hmm. I think... YouTube is not a channel that people are used to so much consuming mm. content because mm. most people thought it would be about music you know yeah. you go you watch music videos mm. so people never looked at the aspect of individuals starting to create but true I, I think it's now growing but still when you look at the analytics maybe I'll keep asking different people but when you look at the analytics you still find that our retention of our viewers that are within Uganda is really still very small it is small but me i have faith i believe people are going to watch our content i believe give it just a few years people now know youtube i, I believe that yeah yeah mm. i i also think the telecoms need to do something you they see should. like um <laughs> you see why facebook and twitter okay even twitter just started picking up on recent but why facebook is way higher is because the telecoms started packages that encourage people to use Facebook WhatsApp. for reading stories, mm. WhatsApp. Now, YouTube doesn't have those packages. 
you find all the telecoms don't have internet packages that encourage people to use YouTube. True. So I think if we can have the telecoms come and create, you know, these packages, it will really, really help out. Yeah. Um, something else. Do you ever get bored creating content? Bored? Yeah. No. See, when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't know anything about getting money from it yeah i used to watch a lot of youtube videos because yeah. at work we used to have wi-fi so i would watch a lot of youtube videos and they inspired me to start a youtube channel basically the reason why i started was to do interior decoration interior designing organizing decluttering people's spaces but then when i got there i saw that that niche is expensive first of all getting those uh, small pieces small items to transform people's spaces so I said, okay, let me try something else. And I did entertainment news and updates. It worked for me, but I never get bored doing content. Maybe what I do, I get exhausted, but I don't get bored because I love it so much. And I got to know about these things of monetization, knowing other Ugandan YouTubers after some time. Actually, when I started my YouTube channel, I thought I was the only Ugandan. <laughs> that was 2019. I thought I was the first Ugandan to have a YouTube channel. So wow. you joined YouTube in 2019? Yes, February 2019. Amazing. Um, sometimes I get bored. Mm -hmm. Sometimes content is really expensive. Because, you know, like there are things you may want to do, um, especially when it comes to... Uh, traveling and all this kind of stuff there are things you really want to put in place but the cost is way yeah, up there you is. need to have the money you need to have you know resources where you're gonna visit who is going to take you around and also if you need enough you know information about the places you want to visit it means you need to have someone besides you so all that sometimes I really get bored there are times when I do a video and I just leave it in the drafts I, I don't like not because I'm bored but I feel like should I upload this should I <laughs> not you know should I do this and sometimes not I being just bored. I, maybe I don't you know. just don't have like the motivation yet to make that video public maybe yes. maybe I could say that mm -hmm. but also sometimes because I end up doing news mm -hmm. so there is little of real live videos like what we're doing now uh, so sometimes I'm, I'm torn between saying, okay, can I upload the news story? Mm. Can I upload a story that I've done myself? So most of the times I end up editing and then halfway the journey, I'm like, ah, okay, I'll just leave this in the drafts. Maybe after like three days, uh, I just go back to it. But since you say that now it doesn't actually bore you, yeah. I think I should borrow uh, a leaf from what you do and start also completing this video please do <laughs> yeah but it's very very nice to catch up teddy and Thank um, you. i'm thinking we need to be doing more of these i should i should actually <laughs> also come to your channel and we do some videos exactly yeah thank you so much thank you guys subscribe to his channel you and, and, and subscribe to teddy's channel too <laughs> i'm gonna link her actually i'm gonna put her in the title uh so you guys can click on her channel and you subscribe thank you yeah